There's nothing I like more than knocking up some bacon and eggs and coffee first thing in the morning at a beautiful place like Land Cruiser Mountain Park. This is one of my favourites and we're here to do a whole lot more testing on Milo too. But this time around, one of the things that real interest to me is mud tyres because I'm trying these Federals for the first time, even though I've been running them for a year or so, in what I'd call really sticky, horrible mud conditions. This is because it's quite firm on the surface. It looks okay, but it's been raining here for a few weeks and it is super slippery underneath. In fact, it's been slippery to the point where no one's really been up some of these tracks for a while. You can really tell the further you go. Now, I've got a few advantages. You know, I've got lockers both ends. I've dropped the tyres to about 24 psi, but before the end of this clip, you're gonna see things come terribly unstuck. And part of that is because these tyres pack up with mud. Get a load of that passenger tyre there. Look how it's loaded up. I mean, that is just not good. Even though I tend to run Milo too, just like I run Milo on steady throttle that doesn't fling mud off, the other side of this is that you should be able to do it on steady throttle. Flinging mud off just means you're putting more on. In fact, if that was my big tip for driving the real slime that's just underneath this crust, it'd be to take it easy. You really need to take it easy. And uh, you know what? I'm going to wish I'd listened to my own advice later on, but we'll get there. You'll get to see it. Ah, meanwhile, Richard's 105. Well, he's got my father-in-law in there, and uh, he's loving it, to be honest. It's never too late to get introduced to four-wheel driving, is it? Looks a bit gnarly, mate. Mate, what do you call that? A diff cracker? <laughs> that one there? Yeah. For sure. That is slippery. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Me too, actually. That first bit's the worst part there. Now the track's starting to get a bit tricky here. But you know, I've found the federal muddies have been really good on rocks. And you've got a fair few rocks here. I've also got the advantage of diff locks, which I only use when it won't go without them. That's because there's just way too much strain on everything once you kick your diff locks in. So if you've got them, save them till you need them. Milo 2 is working out to be a great test rig too. It's just so much fun to drive. I love my old Toyotas, and Milo 2 has been in the planning stages for the last 20 years. Oh, she's a great truck, I'll tell you. I love this thing. Ah, oh, go the live action, whoa! Oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Hey Richard, I want to thank you mate. You just cured my constipation. <laughs> How good's that, eh? 105 Toyota. Possibly the best truck since the 40 series. And the 80 series. And maybe the 60 series. <laughs> this is all on hand throttle now. Pretty good, eh? It's just a great engine. Ah, real! This is what I love about four-wheel driving. You can climb some awesome places and get some awesome views. And out here, right up in the mountains behind the Sunshine Coast, well, wow, it, oh, it's just glorious country. Just makes you proud to be Australian, doesn't it? I've been going bush one way or another most of my life. It's uh, the thing I love most of all, I guess, next to the handbrake, but it's only recently I've been able to take her along with me. And you know what? 
I think she's starting to really enjoy it. Especially when we get things a little bit twisted up and, you know, get to try out my lay too the way it should be tried out, nice and hard. See, there's going to be some sidebars in the equation before long. <laughs> Unfortunately, exciting means there's always an element of risk. Because the further we go, the more water is coming up to the surface. And you can feel how slimy it is deep down. The truck's slipping all over the place. I'm still running 20 PSI, but I'm thinking, ah, oh, I probably should be dropping a bit of air out of these tyres. I should have thought of that a bit sooner, though. Oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. This is a lovely track, but it, it really does get steep up here. And uh, you can tell by the grass on it, no one's really been up it much for a while. What you're about to see is the biggest stuff up of my off-road career, okay? It's as easy as that. A few things went wrong here, didn't take the time to let the tyres down, and then, well, I just made a mistake that nobody should really make. I wasn't thinking, I was talking to the handbrake, I was in a hurry to get home after a big day up in the hills, and I just went the wrong way. Now there's a whole lot of contributing factors here that we'll talk about in the next few clips, but I guess at the end of the day, I just need to wear this one on the chin because that's exactly what it is. I'm showing you this to keep me honest. I just want the message to come across. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this stuff, you can still get it wrong. Oh. Have a look. Rev Ridge. Rev Ridge. Rev Ridge. Whoa! 